I'm calling this one the old tire weight special. First of all, I gotta concentrate down these concentrates furthermore. There's still too much crushed rock in there. Time for a dip. Now that's more like it. Significantly less to work with, more concentrated down for easier smell. Gonna leave this out here through the duration of the night, let it dry up and get it ready for a smelt in the morning. This isn't going to be my traditional smelt. I'm going to be using this tire weight that I found out by my mailbox as a collector metal. I'm going to divide these concentrates directly in half, add flux to each portion, and do two smelts and pour it and we'll see if we get a decent button from each smelt once completed. I've broken up pieces as equally as possible. There's the first one. Now for the second one. We'll see if I can keep that exact weight or increase it after the smelt. Each charge is ready for the crucible. I'm going to gear up and get this smelt started. Next stage of the video will be pouring the molten material into the cone molds. The first crucible is in the smelter. It has been fired up. The cone molds are on top, preheating. We'll see you at the pour. Looks like we're ready to pour. Let those cool and get ready for the next charge. The second crucible is now in the smelter getting cooked. Number two. Let's see what they look like when I break off the slag. Broke up all the buttons and I don't know if that was a good result or a bad result. I end up coming out with these teeny tiny little beads. That's it. A lot of work. Let's get these on the scale and see how much they weigh. Let's see what they weigh. Get back on there. Ouch. That's not a good result. Thank you for watching today's video and have a wonderful evening.